It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your six months from now. This is for Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, six months from now. So keep in mind that, you know, a lot can happen in six months, six months, and um, free will plays a part. So we're just going to get a couple of these and see what comes up. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, I don't know. What do we got for Capricorn? We'll get to that. We want a couple of these. What do we have for Capricorn six months from now? One more, please. Capricorn six months from now. Well, look at that. I got to take them. You know, I got to. I got to, got to, got to, got to. So we got, we got five or six. Handshake. Ooh, now Taurus got this as well. Interesting. I am Taurus Sun and Capricorn Moon. So, a meeting with a stranger could be important. So, there's a handshake this month. Now, you may be dealing with a Taurus. I don't know. Or you could be like me, Taurus Capricorn. Um, hmm. Target. A gore... AI. It is Mercury retrograde, so bear with me as I try to speak. A goal-oriented person. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Capricorn. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Seems like I've heard this reading before. Tiger. Do something risky. Doing something risky. Taking a chance. And kangaroo. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. So, you see where I've put these cards unknowingly. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Someone is leaving your life. Now that is scary. I feel it. Just as much as you do. Tiger. Doing something risky. Taking a chance. A goal-oriented person is going to try to hit a target, and it is risky. Someone you know is undependable and ins insincere. A meeting with a stranger could be important. So you are going to be meeting with a stranger. Could have to do with this chair being empty. Now, this is a bull's eye. Bull's eye. So, I wonder if it has to do with a Taurus. Interesting, because I brought up Taurus t a few times now. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus. Unsettled times. You need to plan ahead. <laughs> Six months from now. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. You're supposed to do something risky and take a chance. But there's somebody, and I think this is somebody in your past, because I always, I look at it this way, okay? So I don't know, I don't know what this is, but... Hmm. What do we have for Capricorn six months from now? Nine of Swords reversed. Four of Wands reversed. The Star card. Page of Cups. What do we have for Capricorn six months from now? Knight of Cups. King of Wands reversed. Ten of Pentacles. Tug of War. Oh, the tower reversed. There is going to be a loss within the next six months, okay? Between now and six months, you are definitely going to be experiencing a loss because we have the tower, and that is a permanent loss. Okay, the tower reversed is a permanent loss, and it is going to be a challenge. I think that you will be bleeding. I think that it will be painful. 
I could have something to do with a father or a job. Um, we got the King of Wands there in the middle. The King of Wands is a father, a masculine, somebody that is very authoritative, somebody that abuses their power, abuses their control, somebody that is controlling. This could be a narcissist or whoever. This is a masculine. I do. It could be a feminine. It could be a feminine that acts in a masculine way. Fire. The fire signs uh, tend to be masculine, so it definitely could be a female or a male. This is a permanent loss. So it could be a, that loss of a commitment because of that four of wands right there. It's over. It's completely over. It's done. It cannot be rebuilt. Um, permanent loss with a tower reversed with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. This party is completely over with the four of wands reversed. There's no celebration. There's nothing to celebrate. It is cleanup time. The honeymoon is over. The party is over. Okay. So in six months from now, the party is completely over and it is time to heal. Okay. It's time of healing because that star is a card of healing. There is probably a new offer of love. There could be you may there there could be a healing love that is coming into your life. You may be moving homes. You may be changing homes. You there could be a change in the family legacy. Um, there has been a false sense of security that was crumbling for a while. It has now hit the ground. Okay, I do believe you're going to receive some sort of communication or I mean the Ace of Swords is truth. Okay, it's the truth, it's honest, it's it's power, it's an awakening of some sort. So it's some sort of communication coming through that has to do with this this person right here. You're going to receive clarity, okay? You're going to receive clarity about this person, this person's lack of permanency, this person's uh, maybe struggling, they may fall down, um, they may collapse even. There's been some sort of competition here. And somebody's giving up on the competition. Um, there's a change in residence as well. Somebody's moving, moving into a new home perhaps. Uh, move Could be moving in together with somebody. I do feel like, um, it, it. you know, there, it, you've been in a very stressful situation where it was very depressing. Uh, obviously, there's feeling regrets, guilt, sad with a Nine of Swords, extremely exhausted. Um, Nine of Swords reversed is ex extremes. It's extremely guilty, extremely sad. So somebody, and that's in the past though. It's like you've been in, in this sad situation where you may have felt ashamed or sad or like it was all your fault or who knows what, like, or you weren't good enough or something like that. But I feel like you're starting to, you know, you're coming out of that. In, in six months from now, you're going to be ready for a relationship or ready for love. Or somebody's going to be offering you love with that Knight of Cups. Or emotional support. If it's not, if it's not, you know, romantic love, it's emotional support in six months from now. You or, or you may just be ready. You may be ready to open your heart more. You may be ready for a relationship. Um, you may be headed towards, um, a new establishment or a new, a new, it could be even employment, a new place of employment. It could be a new home, whatever, wherever it is that you're headed. I think you're going to, you're going to like it. I do think that you are going to like it. We do have a problem though with the King of Wands in reverse. That is somebody that is very self-centered. Somebody that is controlling. Somebody that is unreasonable. So we have an unreasonable energy here. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. This person can't be taught anything. They know it all. So we do have a know-it-all here in the middle. This person is going to... This know-it-all person that can't be taught anything. Because they already know it all. Is going to experience a huge loss with that tower reverse connected to them. This know-it-all is losing a relationship with the four of wands, a relationship with somebody. They are. They're losing a relationship. They are. It's, and it's because this person is, so, is that it has a chip on their shoulder. Okay. And is very controlling. Okay. But anyway, around the corner in, in six months from now, you are going to be I think you're going to be, uh, well, the Page of Cups is a welcome message of love. It's a healing love next to that star card. That This is help. So it's it's like there's some sort of help arriving 
or some sort of healer or some sort of empath or somebody that is is very gentle and kind that is is coming in to help you and i think this is a blessing i think that you are receiving a blessing this person is going to be giving you something that is leads to some sort of stability some sort of security okay i'm not sure if it's money you could be getting an inheritance or i don't know what it is but when you see the ten of pentacles and the page of cups it's it, this is kind-hearted gesture and this gesture has to do with abundance and security and stability so you're going to get something that is going to make you happy and it's going to bring it is and i don't know if it's a new relationship or it's a new home or it's big money or it's family money Ten of Pentacles can be family money. Some of you may be even starting a family, okay? You may be starting a family. Um, whatever it is, some sort of wish is being granted with that star card. If you've been trying to have a baby or another baby, you know, this could be the time where you have the baby or you get pregnant or something like that. Um, there's something about a child here, and I think it's positive. I do think it's positive, but that King of Wands in the middle and reverse is really getting me. I don't like it at all. You got somebody, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, that is very controlling and manipulative and unreasonable and unrealistic and self-centered and boastful and egotistical that is... Uh, playing games with you. This person is playing games with you. Okay, this is a game right here. You need to you need to let this person go. I'm sorry, but you do. You need to accept that this person is unhealthy. This is unhealthy. You need to accept that this person is a wreck. You need to accept that this person is false. Okay, so that is something you need to accept. It is a fire sign, and maybe that's what this is right here. Someone you know is independent undependable and insincere it's this fire sign aries leo sagittarius male or female this person keeps playing games with you and they're playing with you because they 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 tug at your heartstrings right they 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 know that you're a lover so that's why they they know that you they can get you because of your big heart and they love the attention that you give them so you know, you need to retreat. You need to retreat and you need to stop giving them your attention. They're just causing you, they're bringing, they're, they're keeping you, you know, if you think about tug of war, you keep playing it. Bleed, you bleed, you bleed, you bleed. They're, they're keeping you in pain. No, let it go. Let them win. You win, you win, you win. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. So they're just causing you stress. You've got somebody here that is causing you stress and I believe it is a fire sign. I feel as though you have a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that has some genuine uh, emotions or love and would probably be a better fit. Um, could be an Aquarius. Um, could be any sign. It could be. But there is somebody here that, uh, you know, has some sort of feelings for you and could probably take pretty good care of you if you would let them. Um... I feel as though six months from now, you're going to be getting an offer from somebody that, you know, is very, really well suited for you. It's somebody that, you know, it's a blessing. This is a gift. This person, they, it's like, this is protection and this is a card of heaven. Okay. So, so they brought this person into your life to help you heal from this narcissist whoever it was and and whoever this person is this controlling person this tyrant male or female this person um was false from the beginning they were they were fake okay they were fake now they've brought in you somebody more emotionally connected okay more spiritual more loving okay let this person love you okay so i think in six months from now you are going to be um, probably in that state of acceptance. You're probably going to start to see, because this is clarity, the falseness of who you were dealing with in the past. Um, yeah, we have a, a relationship that is coming to an end, giving up giving up it's like i'm giving up on the false sense of security i'm letting it go so yeah i think that you will be letting something go capricorn you'll be letting go of a relationship and protecting yourself you know and pushing somebody away i feel like you're going to be pushing somebody away because you're sick of fighting i think you've you've really had uh 
been taking all the blame for something and I think maybe you get this awakening that says, you know, this isn't all my fault. Um, I think that for some of you, uh, you're, you are, it feels like you're getting into a new relationship as well. It feels like there's a new relationship here. And it's a healing one. It's a healing love. You're leaving the past hurts behind. Not going to communicate with that person anymore. Not going to give it any of your attention. You don't got nothing left to prove with the person of the past. You're focusing on the future. I think the decision is being made to focus on the future. I think you're getting ready to step over the edge into something more beautiful. Where the grass really is greener. So I think I see, you know, a decision being made in the past is absolutely being left behind. I think that the, uh, you know, there's the, it's ending communication too. I think it's like stopping the communication, stopping the contact. It's like I'm moving forward, making the decision to move forward. So yeah, I think that you're, you get presented with an opportunity that is very loving, right? For stability, long-term stability with that Ten of Pentacles. You're presented with that opportunity. So you have to let this fire sign, whoever it is, know that you're not, you're done with them completely. You know, don't communicate with me. Don't ask me to go back and forth with you. I've made my decision and I'm choosing, you know, the one that loves me, you know. So, yeah, I do think that you're going to be receiving some love from somebody. Um, if not actual romantic love, it's going to be emotional support. It could be a friendship that leads to love. Um, there's definitely some sort of... Uh, I think there's a choice between two. And you have an opportunity to keep playing games with somebody who loves to play with you. Or to go down that path and have a relationship grow to the next level. I feel like you, you have an opportunity to, to uh, step up your newest relationship to the next level. Maybe there's even an engagement, okay, where somebody gets engaged or they get married or they get pregnant. You know, it's like the relationship steps it up to the next level with somebody. You know, you get married or you get engaged or you ha you get pregnant or you have the child or, but, but, okay. So that's, that's, it's not an or, that's what it is. We do have a relationship that is stepping it up to the next level, but we also have somebody that is saying goodbye to the, that's why this somebody is leaving your life. We have a saying goodbye to somebody that was playing with them all this time. It's like, nope, I'm done playing games with you. I'm done. I'm done playing games with you. I'm, I'm falling in love and I'm, I'm moving. So, get prepared for a big change. Okay, the tower wouldn't be in this reading. There is going to be a big, huge change. Get prepared for it. Your life is about to change. Consider it. Consider what is happening now a blessing. Okay? Consider it a blessing because it was protection. It was protection because now they are bringing you something more emotionally fulfilling that is going to help you to heal and it's going to be long term. And it's going to be somebody that. You are more emotionally in tune with. You know what I mean? It's like you you feel it's just so easy with this person. You know, there's no you don't have to pretend to be anybody. You know, this is this is where you can just both be yourselves. So uh I I feel like it's a congratulations, honestly. I do. I think that you are coming out of a trouble. The next five months you're probably gonna be, still be Playing tug of war with this fire sign, going back and forth. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's either Aries, and you're going to be going back and forth with this person. This person playing with you. They're playing with you, and you're allowing it. But eventually, it's, you're going to you're going to be like, no, I'm done. Done. 
because you don't want to lose this other opportunity. You got this big opportunity for love that is that is uh, it feels so good. So yeah, I feel like there's going to be a decision made to let go of that old relationship that was very controlling and there it was just like you couldn't even be yourself. You were constantly walking on eggshells. It's like, no, not doing that. Following my heart right into this relationship that I've been blessed with. So goodbye. So yeah, be prepared to be be be, be blessed. And I feel like um, maybe it's this stranger. Maybe you meet this. Or maybe it's not a stranger. I don't feel like it is, but maybe it is. Um, good luck. <laughs>